Oh hi, it's Bukai. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete Cattle Prod's second part of the quest underneath there. So it uses a similar tactic depending on how low of a level that you had done the first part. You can, if you are, if you basically have enough damage to one shoot the mobs, you can just complete it without doing the mocking shout strategy that I'm going to be showing you here. But if you can't, I, uh, for example, this guy here, you can do about half the damage on the min, but then he can one-shoot them at the max, because if I go here and go to cards, I believe they have, what is it, yeah, 11,000 hit points. So, he doesn't have the best gear equipped underneath here, because this is just a hand-me-down, this is usually my miner, so he's not really the best equipped. However, if you go over here, you can see what I'm using in order to boost up the damage. So the mana potions allow me to maintain my actual mana, the... Movement speed allows me to run really fast, considering on this a, uh, strategy, when you do this over by the sandcastles, you don't have much time uh, to actually swap over. Now, the other piece on there is the a, uh, just the basic average strength potion. You might be able to have some better pieces to equip for if you are willing to actually lose them on this strategy, and that's perfectly fine and perfectly acceptable. So with that, that is the gear, and what you want to do is you put Mocking Shout on your bar. Make sure that you turn on both of these buffs ahead of time. Then, when you click on Cattle Prod, then you hit Auto, and now you get ready to just butcher all of the actual sandcastles. Run up, or the Mafiosos. And once you are done the Mafiosos up here, which should not take long as there's one more left, and bang, you run through the sandcastle, turn off this, maybe kill one or two, swap player, go to any player, and come back later. Now the reason why you come back later is you want to come back within 10 minutes or so, uh, because you have a 600 second cooldown on the actual a uh, Mocking Shout. Now, actually to make this a little easier to see, where's my other barb because i use two barbs on here yeah so let's go to tyrone three there we go so yes if i go down here you can see that it is a long cooldown it's about 10 minutes on the actual character i'm just going to turn on auto on this guy you won't be able to complete the actual quest without the actual mocking shout underneath there because when you come back as you're going to see I'm going to hit Mocking Shout again, and you are going to spawn here. So because you're going to be spawning all the way up here, it's not really easy to run all the way back up, considering you've got to basically run up here, have your Mocking Shout go off again, and whoop, run up to about this piece. So you really don't have much time to kill all these guys and then get back to the mafiosos but with that i'm going to pause the video here and come back in about 10 15 minutes time to show you guys the second part of this build i'll see you in a bit and we're back underneath here so as you can see you got to very quickly hit a the good old-fashioned auto attack run over here your mocking shout will pop off again and then you are able to clear down the sand castles now you want to do this as fast as you can humanly do it. So get those last two and now you run right back. Now you are just on the straight up cleanup and then what you want to do is go over here. 15 seconds left. We might, might make it underneath there. It's going to be cutting it real close. Two, come on. And bam, two seconds left underneath there. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do the actual cattle prod quest. It's really annoying. It takes a bit of time and a bit of setup to do. But once you've got that setup going, bam, it is, it is great. Now I get the actual mason jar stamp and the fish head stamp. And once you get that, he gives you the very, very last a uh, quest, which is this guy here where you got to collect monster rating of a thousand collect uh player rating with letter p and collect letter uh that if i could speak but unfortunately i cannot english hard 
Uh, collect player rating with letter S. That means that basically somebody has to have that player rating with the letter whose name starts with the letter S, if I recall. If I'm wrong about that, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, that is how you do a Cattle Prod Part 2 quest. And I'm going to go back to town because we're going to go dump these into the good old-fashioned uh, stamp collector. And while I'm here, let's go collect... Okay, so we have dumped those into the collector.